It's time for your second date update. And, you know, when we're out at events, people always ask us, what happened to so-and-so? Mm-hmm. You guys should do third date updates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sometimes those people that we send out on dates do keep in touch with us. Sometimes they stay together. Sometimes they break up. Sometimes there's a missing persons report. There's all kinds of <laughs> interesting things that happens when we send these people out on their dates. But one couple emailed us recently. They did their second date update back in February. Marcus and Tara. Mm. If you don't remember, Marcus was the virgin who wasn't calling back because of a huge miscommunication. Marcus the Virgin thought she whispered something very inappropriate (laughs) into his ear. A lot of our listeners are familiar with this one, but if you're not, we're going to play it for you right now. And at the end of it, we have an update from Marcus and Tara. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. The girl on the phone for today's second date update has done something that I have never done. Something that I never want to do. Uh... She went on a date with an adult virgin. (laughs) <laughs> Sounds terrible to me, but that's who she wants us to call today. It's a guy named Marcus, and apparently that's one of the issues that she thinks might have been kind of weird on her date is that the dude is an adult, and he's a virgin, and oh I don't know. We'll get into it. But uh, Tara, how are you doing? Hi, guys. Hey. I can't believe we're already dubbing her date Marcus the adult virgin. <laughs> it's what you have to do. It's what you have to do. First of all, how did you meet this dude? Um, I met him on a dating site. Okay. okay, I was going to um, say. What website was it? Adultvirgins.com. Yeah. <laughs> Were you like trolling for virgins online? <laughs> no. No. I, no, it was dot <laughs> com. Okay. okay. Um, All right. And what were you attracted to online about him? We had a lot in common, and he just seemed like, okay, I don't want to sound weird, but he seemed like genuine, kind of innocent in a way, mm-hmm. and... I just, he, he seemed really sweet. Okay. So, and how long did you guys chat online before you decided to go out? I it was like four or five days. Like we had been like getting a really nice connection with each other, which I thought was really cool. So like, oh, this is a real guy. Like I could have a real date with him. Is, is this the first time you've ever online dated? I've done like the cheapo, like the app one <laughs> oh. on your phone. The hookup a little ones. bit of tender, a little bit <laughs> yeah. of plenty of fish, things like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those aren't where you find the prime grade A beef online. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like this freebie ones where they just wanted to hook up with you. It was yeah. like he seemed like he actually wanted to have a conversation. Of course not. Those ones probably scare him. He's a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you guys end up doing when you went out? We started off and went to a bar. Mm-hmm. Really low key. We just got some drinks. Did he seem nervous or, you know, did he feel the stereotype, I guess, of a virgin? I mean, there was definitely, like, more of, like, a sweet quality to him than any other guy I had really gone out on a date with. Like, he wasn't pushy. He he was a little flirty, but it's like, I don't know. I could feel very comfortable with That's him. Good. So how was the yeah. actual date? Like, when you guys were out having drinks, was everything cool? Yeah, yeah, it was cool. It was like having really nice conversations and drinking and finding out more about each other. It was. It was I think it was really good. And how did everything end with you guys? Did he seem like he enjoyed himself? Well, the date the date actually continued after Ooh. we got drinks. Oh. Um, okay. It, we actually went back to my apartment. Oh. oh. Well, aren't you oh, yeah. just forward with the adult virgin? <laughs> What'd you guys do at your apartment? And how'd you lure him back there, Candy? <laughs> <laughs> we... It was very innocent. It was okay. we just literally. We I just said want to keep hanging out. My apartment was very close to the bar. We wanted to go back, watch a movie, and we, you know, we kissed and stuff. But nothing like you know. Right. So you guys so for actually him, watched a movie together. I mean, we started watching a movie, and then you made out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but that quickly began us getting a little physical. Oh. <laughs> How physical. <laughs> For him, like holding hands? or I mean, we didn't have sex, let's just say that. But oh. we, you know, we got to know each other. I was hoping you got to demolish his V-card. <laughs> <laughs> On the first night. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, F it. <laughs> so you guys, you guys messed around a little bit. I mean, we fooled around and we had been drinking. So now I'm starting to think that maybe I... I pushed him a little bit or something because I, I don't know. I kind of feel bad that maybe 
he didn't necessarily want to do that. Did he seem like he was bothered by it? I mean, everything you've told me just sounds like he was into it. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was into it while we were doing it, but it was kind of a, uh, an abrupt end. He he kind of was like, I got to go. I'll call you tomorrow. Oh. And oh. kind of just. Okay. Left. Well, maybe he's just worried that like things are going to progress too quickly from that point. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, it's it's been like 10 days now and I haven't even heard from him. So, yeah. Maybe he's just frustrated with me because I was moving too quickly for him and he already kind of, you know, told me his deal and maybe yeah. I kind of like stepped over. You know, what? I never asked you this question, Tara. Are you a virgin? <laughs> I am not a virgin. All she right. laughs. Well, I just wanted to make sure. Like, I, we're making fun of this guy going like, oh, he's a vir-, But you could have been, yeah. too. I had no idea. I mean, I don't want to just, like, label you as a not a virgin if you are. She's an aggressive virgin. Yeah. yeah. So how many dudes? No, come on, Jubal. <laughs> <Come on, dude. laughs> <laughs> not going to get... All right. I don't need that information, I guess. Oh, What's the last thing that he said to you before he left? He, it, literally, the last thing he said was he would call me the next day. And, and he hasn't called you the next day? No. All right, I think that's a good sign that maybe he doesn't want to talk to you. All right, well, we'll play a song, come back, call him, and get your second date update, okay? All right, thank you, guys. All right, hang on. Remember to stick around after we play the next part of today's second date update because we're going to talk to Marcus and Tara again right afterwards. Apparently, they have an update on what's happened between them since we recorded this a few months ago. But first, let's hear part two of their second date update. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. If you're just tuning in for the second part of your second date update, it's sort of a role reversal today. Tara is on the phone, and she wants us to call this guy named Marcus. Tara thinks he might have been a little scared and she might have been moving too fast for him <laughs> because that dude is a virgin. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Tara is definitely not a virgin, right, Tara? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but Tara feels like maybe when they were messing around after their date, they went back to her house. She feels like she might have been moving too fast for him because the dude is a virgin. Do you think he's going to be really upset that you've broadcast on the radio that he's a virgin? <laughs> he didn't seem too embarrassed about him being a virgin. So yeah. I I don't know. I think I think he'll be all right. I guess yeah, I never asked you how old he was. How old is he? He's 28. Okay. Yeah, if you've been a virgin at 28 years old, you're probably yeah. used to it by now. Yeah. It's voluntary, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to dial the phone number, see if we can get him on the phone and find out exactly why he's not calling you back, okay? All right, thanks, guys. Here we go. Hello? Hey, can I speak to Marcus, please? Yeah, this is him. Hey, Marcus, how you doing? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. From who? Brooke and Jubal in the Morning, the radio show. Okay. I'm calling you because you recently went on a date with one of our listeners, and they emailed me about you. Really? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And apparently now you're not calling her back. Okay. Who who is it? (laughs) Her name is Tara. Do you remember going out with a girl named Tara? Yeah. Okay. Well, Tara... (laughs) sent us an email and said that she really enjoyed your time together, but apparently it's been like 10 days and you haven't called her when you said you would. So she asked me to get you on the phone and find out if she did something wrong on the date. Okay, what'd she tell you? (laughs) She said that you guys met online, um, went out for drinks, ended up back at her place, kind of, you know, made out, messed around a little bit, and then at some point you just said that you need to slow down and then you left. So she told you about our date? Yeah, it's in the segment we do called the second date update. Somebody emails us, they tell us all about the date, and then we see if we can get that person on the phone. And today, that person is you, Marcus. Okay. <laughs> do you have a few minutes to talk to us about your date with Tara? Uh, I guess. Okay. So did you like Tara? Yeah, Tara was nice. Okay, so everything was good, but you're not calling her back when you said you would because? Uh, things moved a little too fast, I guess you could say. Okay. You know, when we talked to Tara, she told us about that. She was worried that maybe she moved too quick for you. She mentioned that you have never been with a woman before. 
She told you everything. Yeah. <laughs> but that's fine, dude. Hey, that's your yeah. thing. Whatever. Who cares? But that's what she told us. And she thinks that maybe she tried to move too fast for you and that scared you off. Uh, I think she's right. She's right. Oh, wow. Okay. But if she knows that, I mean, wouldn't be grounds to never call her again. Wouldn't you just want to talk about that with her? I just don't know if I'm her uh, type of guy. What do you mean by that? Maybe she needs someone, uh, I don't know, a little more her speed. Okay. Are you just looking for somebody who just is not interested in sex at all right now? or? No, I, I want someone interested in, in sex, I guess, but just... Maybe on my terms, very, very slow. Marcus, mm-hmm. can you just tell us what happened to make you feel uncomfortable so that we can at least let her know? Because she's really curious as to why you're not calling her yeah. back. All right, well, things got a little physical. I mean, we, we kissed a little. Mm-hmm. And I guess uh, she kissed my neck. I, I don't know. We, we were getting a little physical. Okay, and, and was that it then? It was just too physical for you with the kissing? I mean, she she did tell us that you guys made out and messed around a little bit. Yeah, and then uh, she started to take my shirt off. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah. And she's, like, kissing my neck, and then she goes down and licks my armpit. What? Wait. She what you licked mean? your armpit. <laughs> no. On purpose? I don't know. <laughs> I could see how that would make you feel uncomfortable, though, especially if your armpit's hairy. Gross. Men's armpits are not attractive. Then I just can't believe that would be intentional. Well, I guess it was it was kind of on the side of my armpit, like in the area. She was looking like the area. Okay. okay. So you can't really hold that against her then, because it's not like she like grabbed your arm, held your hand in the air, and just licked your pit. Like maybe she didn't mean to do that. Maybe did she- it did it totally like kill the mood right then, and you just wanted to stop? It was actually what she did next that that really killed the mood, and I said, uh, I need to end this. I got to get out of here. Whoa. What she? What what could top licking your armpit? <laughs> Well, she's, she's in that area, and then she comes up and whispers in my ear, can I blow air into your butt? What? <laughs> Excuse me, what? No. Could you repeat that? There's no way. Can, can I blow air into your butt? <laughs> no. She did not whisper in your ear asking permission to blow air into your backside. I've never even heard of that. It was that. so weird. What is Are you serious, like? Marcus? <laughs> Marcus, you're 100% serious with me right now. How would you lie about that? I, I don't know why you would lie. She so, asked me if she could it, blow air in my butt. Wow. <laughs> is that like a thing that I don't, I don't know. know about? I've never, you ever had I've never, a... I've never heard of that before, but I know a way to find out. Oh. Marcus Terra is actually on the other line listening right now. What? Yeah. And I uh, need to know uh-huh. from her. Tara, did you ask Marcus if you could blow air <laughs> to his bottom? I don't even want to talk right now. I am mortified. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> Marcus, I did not say that. I did not say anything like that. <laughs> you you didn't say, can I blow air into my butt? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't even understand. Oh, my God. Well, I, Tara, how could Marcus mishear that? I didn't say anything like that at all. I said, oh, my God. I was asking if you like it when people blow air into your ear. Uh, how do you get... Still weird. Yeah, but how do you get oh, butt... Into ear. I heard, can I blow air into my rear? Are you... Oh. The whole so you thought she said, can I blow air into your rear? Yeah, that's what Oh, man. That's amazing, Marcus. It's like, you must have been you must have been so shocked when you heard that. If somebody had asked me that, can I blow air into your rear? I wouldn't have known what to say. What do you say to that? I just had to get out, I guess. Yeah. We don't blame you for that one. Yeah. I am first of all, I'm mortified that you went a week thinking that I had said that to you. <laughs> I was trying I, I was trying so hard to be respectful and I because I really like you and I've been <laughs> so embarrassed because I thought you thought I was just going too far and I guess you did think that. Yeah. So. <laughs> I guess it's my fault then. I mean <laughs> Yeah. Just a failure to communicate. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just bad <laughs> communication there. <laughs> it, I that's just what it is because I I, Marcus, I really like you. I think we had a really good date. 
No, I had a great time until you told me you wanted to blow uh, air into my butt. And that's what things got out of hand. <laughs> well, now that you know she didn't tell you that, Marcus, would you like to go out with Tara again? I will pay for a second date for you guys. Absolutely. I mean, as long as there's no blowing air into, into rears, I'm there. Yep. <laughs> Tara, can you guarantee me? I don't know if anybody's ever asked you this before, before you go on a date, but can you guarantee me, Tara, that you will not blow air into Marcus's backside? <laughs> Unless he asked for it, but other than that, no, I will not. <laughs> All right, Marcus, you have the no air in the bum guarantee. Yes. <laughs> and you guys are going to go out on a second date, okay? Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Congratulations, Tara, you got your second date. Yay, thank right. you so much. Yeah, see, that's why we have second date updates, to fix these kind of problems, yes. you know? <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning. That was a second date update that aired earlier this year. That had a lot of people talking because it's hilarious. Yeah. And when we're out at events and stuff like that, people always ask us, hey, why don't you ever give us updates on the people that actually agree to go out at the end of a second date update? Mm-hmm. So we thought we would start doing that. Marcus and Tara are actually on the phone, and we're going to see how their relationship has progressed Uh-oh. since they went out on their second date. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you for coming back on the show. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. So it sounds like everything is going okay since you actually are agreeing to talk to us on the air together. <laughs> yeah, everything's great, actually. It's really good. Aww. I do have a question. It's always interesting. How did your friends and family react after hearing you in the second date update? Especially you, Marcus, yeah. who thought that she was whispering in your ear, can I blow in your rear? <laughs> Six months, I have not heard the end of it from my friends. Yep. <laughs> I'm just impressed that you agree to do this whole thing again. It's, I mean, I have to laugh at it now. I'm at work, and, and I have friends blowing air in my ear and, oh. away and things, things like that. <laughs> and you guys have obviously been dating now for a while? Yeah. yeah six months, right? Yeah. Are you an official couple? Yeah, I mean, we're pretty official. We're Facebook officials. So, oh, I mean, wow. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. More than that. <laughs> <laughs> and there hasn't been any more awkward miscommunications between the two of you so far in your relationship? No, we, we pretty much get each other now. And, yeah, we're, we're just having fun. And we really enjoy each other. How about the virginity? Is that still there, Marcus? Oh, I knew you were going to ask. I wanted to know, too, though. <laughs> I am still a virgin. Still really? a virgin. Are you serious? Oh, come on. After this long? <laughs> yeah, you know, I wanted to wait. So wait, you're going to wait until, like, you get married? Wait? No, we have a plan. You have yeah. a plan? Oh. Uh, <laughs> a virgin plan? What's your, what's your plan? <laughs> yes, we do. We're, uh, we're going to plan an international vacation, and, and that's where it's going to happen. Oh, where are you hoping to do it? Where do you want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not in the butt. I'm still not into that. <laughs> No, no, I don't no. mean like the location on the body, Marcus. No. I mean like what, what oh city or country? I apologize, oh, Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Marcus, you oh, have a baby. You are always kind of misunderstanding things, aren't you? I guess so. I'm sorry. That's what my head was at. I'm sorry. What country are you hoping to do it? I missed it. I was too busy thinking about the way you answered my question. We're thinking Mexico. You know, on the beach, a few drinks, Whoa. and then Tara in her bikini. You know, that'll help. And then you can always invite a young Latino man named Hector into the bedroom with you guys to show you how it's really done. That. No? All right. So you're, I mean, you're predicting, like, you guys are going to be in this relationship for the long haul? It looks like it's six months. We're, we're having a really good time. Wow. Uh, long enough to at least he finally gets some action, and then he's like, yeah, now I want every, I want, I want it all. You know, I I really, I don't think I would have waited this long for anyone else, but but he's definitely worth it, and I think it's about time. Well, that's awesome. Well, congratulations, you two. Thank you for updating us on what happened since you guys have gone out from your second date update. No problem. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, Marcus, congratulations on your vacation. I hope everything goes well for you, and it doesn't hurt too bad. It hurts, by the way. It, it hurts if you if you've never done it before. It's very painful. So I hope everything goes well. And Tara, um, I hope that you aren't going to be too disappointed on your vacation. Yeah, I'll be in Mexico, so it'll be okay. Yeah. Anyway. she'll be drunk like, just enough. Yeah. At least I can go get some sun. Yeah. <laughs>